Hello folks, I'll be using this small raised bed, it's a 8 foot, uh, eight, 8 inch board and it's about 2 feet out and about 5 feet long. I'll be using this little bed here which is on the south side of the house to plant okras. I have one little tomato plant over there and I'll be filling in the rest of the bed with okras. I got some seeds here that are red okras from the store and these seeds right here are okras that I harvested from my from my garden last year or the year before. So these are green okras and these are red and I'll be planting those today. Now uh, this gets excellent sun but this fig bush here which I planted a long time ago might shade some out then again it may not this is texas and we get a lot of sun here so it may not be a bad deal so i'm going to go ahead and plant these what i will do is i will remove all these leaves from the top so from the top of the soil i'll dig a little trench plant my seeds and then just put the leaves back in there and uh, let nature do its thing after that okay i'll show you when it's done Okay, here's the okra planted, and I went ahead and put a, a light cover of soil on it and tapped it down. And right now, all, all that remains to be done is put back the leaves on top of it. Now, why do you water something right after you plant it? It's not like the seed needs anything at that point. But the point of watering something, a seed after you have put it in the ground, is that as the, as the soil drains to the ground it compacts it a little bit and it brings that ground in contact with the seed so it kind of eliminates uh, pockets of air that may be surrounding the seed and and may prevent it from sprouting so that's the reason for watering it also when you water the ground when it gets uh, the sun hits it it's the, it heats up the soil a, a little bit and that creates the the seed to sprout. So right now I'm going to put the the leaves back on this bed and I'll give it a good watering. Thanks for watching.